Hello, my name is Dr. Res Lam, Clinical Assistant Professor of Emergency Medicine at the University of Hong Kong. In this clinical picture, we describe a case of 27 years old man who presented to our emergency department with shortness of breath, cough, and global sensation, which has started earlier on the day of consultation. He also complained of an itchy skin rash over his neck, upper trunk, and arms, which had developed two weeks earlier. The patient was a photojournalist. During the previous six weeks, he had been repeatedly exposed to tear gas while working at different protests around Hong Kong. The patient had no history of asthma or bronchitis. Both his lung fields were clear on auscultation. Blood tests, including the absolute eosinophil count and serum IgE concentration, were normal. A chest X-ray and CT thorax revealed no abnormalities. Bronchoscopy showed mild pharyngitis with severe tracheal bronchitis. No pathogens were detected with PCR or culture of the bronchoalveolar lavage fluid. The patient was admitted to the hospital. He was given intravenous hydrocortisone, inhaled fluticasone and venantral, and oral prednisone 50 mg per day. His condition improved, and he went home four days later. Six weeks later, his solace of breath had improved, but he still had a cough. We repeated the bronchoscopy, which showed improvement in the tracheal bronchitis. o corobenzaladine melanolytrile, or better known as CS, has become the most commonly used tear gas agent. This case illustrates that chronic bronchitis and allergic contact dermatitis can occur after repeated exposure to tear gas, despite a normal absolute eosinophil count and serum IgE concentration. Thank you for your kind attention.